Alright, hello everybody, um, this is Martin again, and I'll just make a very short tutorial and show you how to count words with Microsoft Excel 2007, uh, because some of you guys asked me in the seminar, well, how do you do that? Alright, so first I'll type in just a text, right? Um, how do we count words with Excel? Um, can add a question mark, but it doesn't matter, right? Uh, and here uh, I'll type another uh, text. Uh, uh, we'll show you how to do that, okay? Now, the command you need is basically equal, then uh, open uh, brackets, length. Then you can create the cell you're interested in. Uh, equals zero, um, zero. And some colon. Länge. Uh, oh, not with an H. So then again, you can create the cell, um, say, minus uh, Länge. Vexen, you can indicate uh, the cell. Then you uh, uh, have to put a space into double quotes. Yeah, I know. Right. Put space in there. That's important. And then double quotes without space. Where spaces? Uh, close the brackets, say plus one, why I'll tell you in a second, close the whole command and execute. Now seven, is that right? So we'll count manually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's cool, all right? And if you want to do that for uh, a lot of text, for example, if you copy a corpus file into Excel, you just go to the bottom right corner and pull that down. I'll show you how to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and you can do that for as many cells as you like. Um, now, how does it work? All right. So basically, what uh, Excel does is it creates two kinds of versions of that uh, text in there, or the string, if you like. Um, and we have one string, which is just the ordinary text and we have another string which looks different and I'll show you how that actually looks like. You have uh, a replace space with nothing. All right. Now I've replaced all the spaces here with nothing and what Excel does is basically it'll take this string right, and sub uh, subtract that one. Right. So how long, how much longer is the string or the text in this cell compared to the text in that in that cell, right? And it's uh, six spaces longer, so one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Six signs longer, and if you remember, we added one, right? Uh, because you spaces only in between words, so you have to add one, and so we get to seven words, all right? So basically, the number of spaces plus one makes the word count, right? Basically, that's the way t um, uh, what Excel does. Now, if you do that, right, if you want to calculate word counts for whatever uh, corpus file you're interested in, make sure, this is really important, that you de uh, delete all double spaces, right, and replace them by single spaces, and that you delete uh, the spaces at the end of lines or something, right? Sometimes you have a line break in your line, and there's a lot of spaces at the end of the line, right? Just make sure that uh, basically the last uh, sign you have here is a letter, not a space, right? And then you can just copy it in there and uh, type in the command, right? And do that for all the cells you, you want. So there you go. And the words should be free. All right. So that's it for today. It's just you know showing you how to count words. All right.
Okay, great. See you then. Bye.